I'll stop asking, when you first read Filth, were you already envisaging how you might turn it into a film? Were you already creating kind of sequences in your head? Uh, when I first read the book, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about it as a film because it was way back when it first came out in 1998. And, and at the time, I wasn't even working in the film industry at the time. I was, I was, um, I think I was working in telesales. I'd just finished at university and I was working in telesales in, in a mind-numbing sort of uh, uh, job. But then I just started to uh, to get in the film industry just after that time as a T-boy. I, I became a T-boy in, 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 in a company. Um, but it's when, it was like 10 years later after I'd read the book three or four times and I'd met Irvin Welsh, um, I suppose I was more conscious of, of, of what it was. I think probably back when I'd first read it, it sort of soaked in and it had sort of soaked the, the character of Bruce Robertson in. Um, but it was only after really meeting Irvin um, that, that I started to really think about it as a movie, you know? So how, how, much, the, how much does this compare to, to the book? How much has changed? Um, I think the main thing it's changed from the book is obviously the tape worm, yeah? Um, and th we made a conscious decision that, that we would get rid of the tape worm and then deal with him later and then concentrate on Bruce's story. Um, we do make reference to it through, through, um, through Jim Broadbent's character, uh, Dr. Rossi, and he kind of takes on the mantra of the, of the, of the tape worm. Um, the, the other main thing that, that, that is slightly different in the book, it's, it's, the, the film is more about Bruce's psychological decline than his physical decline. The book is about his physical decline. But I just thought it was more interesting and potentially cinematic and to show a heightened sense of reality as well, which I always wanted as the style of the movie, if it was about Bruce's psychological decline. So those are probably the main things. It's not as dark as the book. It's pr we've probably concentrated more on the humour. Um, and Bruce is probably more followable. He's probably more followable a character in, uh, in the film than he is in the book, you know. Uh, and you've got to do that to sort of reach a, a wider audience, you know. So, I mean, it is, it is really funny at times and other times it's really dark. Was it quite difficult for you to find that kind of balance and, and have both being quite important aspects and yet neither kind of overtake the other? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's funny and dark, and the book is very funny and very dark. Um, and it was, it makes it easier because Irvin, yeah, Irvin is such a great writer and, he, and his tone seeps through, you know, it's funny and dark at the same time. So if you stick to that formula, it makes it a lot easier for you. And obviously you need to find the right actor as well to bring it off a page. Uh, but you've got to work a lot at the script as well and get these little nuances in and write the little stage directions in between, the little things that are happening. Um, but I see the film as a dark fairy tale. That's kind of, that's kind of what I, I see it as. That's heightened, heightened sense of madness, and it's also a tragic love story as well. So, uh, but the Scottish are very, very. It's kind of ingrained in their culture a dark, dark sense of humour. So it's just something that we do, probably naturally. I mean, because it's a fine uh, directorial achievement, and yet. It's so much is reliance on McAvoy's performance, and he's absolutely outstanding. Outstanding. It must have been a real pleasure for you to kind of, uh, I don't know, leave it in such trustworthy hands. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, you don't, I wouldn't say you leave it in hands because you, you've got to work together, and obviously you've got to write the best script possible uh, to for him to, to bring it off a page. But ultimately, he's still got to bring it off a page, and I can't think of anybody who would have done it any better than him. Yeah, um, and I think. It, the film is all about him. It's all about Bruce. It's all. It's all. It's all about James. Yeah, um, and we just we just work very well as a team, and I, I'd love to work with him again on something. You know.